Traditionally, creating a data validation drop-down list in Excel that allows multiple selection required writing a VBA code. While my book, Data Validation, A Backdoor to Master Excel, provides a detailed guide on this, the process has been revolutionized by AI. Now with Copilot in Excel, you can generate the necessary code with a simple prompt. I am Nabil Murad. In this tutorial, I'll guide you through creating a basic drop-down list. Then we'll use Copilot to add multi-selection functionality. While Copilot understands natural language prompts, a basic understanding of VBA is still beneficial for making minor adjustments. Let's get started. In this worksheet, I have in column A a list of patients' names, the admission date in column B, and the required investigations in column C. I created a drop-down list in column C from which I can select the necessary clinical investigation. A basic drop-down list allows selecting a single item, while for the purpose of this work situation, any patient might be required to make multiple investigations. So I want to be able to select another one, like this, and it's added to the same cell. I can select a third one. If I select the same investigation another time, it will be removed from the cell. How to create this multi-selection drop-down list? It definitely requires a code in VBA. But if you are not familiar with creating this code, then let's go pilot do the heavy lifting for us. I go to the next worksheet start, and I want to create my drop-down list in this range. I have some values, but no drop-down list. Then I select the range, and then I go to the data tab of the ribbon and to the right side of the data tab, I click on data validation. I want to select a list and then I put the blinking cursor in the source box and I select the different items from the worksheet. When I hit OK, now I have a drop list and I can select a different option. But as I said, this drop down list allows a single selection. Now let's bring Copilot and ask Copilot for creating a code for us. On the home tab of the ribbon, I click on Copilot. Note that this workbook is saved online to my OneDrive and autosave is turned on. In the message Copilot, I'm going to write a prompt. And in my prompt, I said, I have some data validation drop list in the range C2, C21. I need a VBA code that allows multiple selection from the drop list in any cell in the range C2, C21. When I make another selection, it appears in the cell next to the previous one separated by comma. If I select from the drop list a previously selected item, it removes it from the cell. Please write me the VBA code. And I'm going to send this prompt. I click on send. And here is the code generated by Copilot. How do I use this code? I'm going to copy this code from the start private sub up to end sub. I copy it, control C. And to use this code, I need to go to the Visual Basic Editor. This is an event code. Whenever there is a change, in column C, in the range C to C21, the code should be triggered. We call it an event code. And to do that, I right click on the sheet tab name and I select view code. This is the visual basic editor. I click and I paste control V. I pasted my code. Without going into the hassle of understanding the details of this VBA code, I'm going to close the Visual Basic Editor and right away, I want to test. I select the first cell, cell C2. I click on the down arrow. Right now we have ECG electrocardiogram. Let's add X-ray. When I select X-ray, it's added following ECG separated by comma. Let's select another option. CT scan is automatically added. So what if I select X-ray another time? If I select it, it has been removed from the list. And we were able to create a multi-selection drop-down list 
without writing the codes ourselves with the help of Copilot. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel to be notified when your tutorials are released. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and see you next time.